Hey everybody, Greg Laurie here. Welcome to my office. So these are some shelves that are here of people that I admire. Here's Winston Churchill. This man probably saved Western civilization in his bold stand during the days of World War II. Here's D.L. Moody. Moody was a great evangelist, the greatest of his day, leading thousands of people to Christ. But this here is C.H. Spurgeon, Charles Haddon Spurgeon. These books around him are called the Metropolitan Tabernacle Pulpit. These are a collection of the sermons of Spurgeon. He's called the Prince of Preachers. Most self-respecting pastors have these books and other books by Spurgeon in their library. But here's something people may not know about C.H. Spurgeon. And that is that he struggled with very deep depression. Some experts might even call it clinical depression today. Spurgeon described it as the fog that would overcome him. It was so powerful that he would not be able to preach for months as he retreated. And it was a great challenge that he fought with throughout his life. But he pressed on and he kept going into that pulpit and delivering these amazing sermons that, well, we're still reading today. Maybe you are someone that deals with depression and you feel like you can't overcome it. Well, I'm praying that you will know that the Lord is with you in your difficult days. Even great men of God struggled with depression. David struggled with it. Jeremiah did too, even Moses. So it's not unusual to have depressing thoughts or to be down, but I would say as much as possible, follow the example of Spurgeon and other men and women of God and look to the scripture. Fill your minds with the word of God. Surround yourself with godly people that can encourage you maybe when you're feeling down. Spurgeon did that and we're still benefiting from the results of his life today.